Now, the historic site, heritage site actually, the Red House, was recently reopened after years and years of renovation. Here to chat with me about that is the chairman of the National Trust of Trinidad and Tobago, and her name is Miss Margaret McDowell. Good morning Good and morning. welcome. Morning. Thank welcome. you. Thank you for being here this morning. No, you seem so excited to chat about the heritage oh, yes. site. You have a pin saying, I love heritage yes. on it. Um, you know, in your role as chairman of the National Trust of Trinidad and Tobago, you know, what do heritage sites mean to you? Oh, my goodness. Well, um, I think that the most important thing is how our heritage sites really reflect us and not just all kinds of past. And some of our past is not great. Right. But what is really good, about it, particularly about the buildings, is that they were all built by us. And the craftsmanship, the artistry of those buildings is amazing. In yeah, fact, in the Red House, it was actually designed by what used to be called the chief draftsman of the ministry, of, well, the public right. works department at right. the time. So it's, it's be, it was designed here, it was drawn here, it was built here. So we celebrate it. Definitely. And you know, the Red House has a rich history. Could you share some of that history oh with boy. us? Oh boy. Well, how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, this particular building was, uh, was, is on the footprint of um, a collection of buildings. Um, this was from in the 19th century, right. and it was like our urban campus at the time, where buildings were put together in that area um, to kind of, it was their first urban renewal kind of organization. Right. And um, those buildings were there for quite some time. Um, one was the legislative side, one was courthouse, there was registration house, all kinds of things in the area. And um, the first thing that people keep talking about is when it got his name red, well, right. red house, because in Victoria's, in honor of Queen Victoria's Jubilee, they painted right. the whole thing red. And I that was see. a big deal because, yeah. I mean, nobody had a red building. And that was 1897. 1897, yes. wow. So all went well until there were water, water riots. The water riots were 1903. And after drama and confusion, the buildings were burned down. And the chief draftsman at the time, when he decided to rebuild, he decided to use the same footprint of the original buildings and build two buildings like it was before but this time really joined them I so see. we one big building right and then he decided that you know in all these big colonial buildings all over the world there was the might of the empire and all of that so he wanted to make it really imposing you know actually the same person is the person who who designed the royal victoria museum where our museum is right. and the queen's royal college really so it, he's he was pretty something at the time so that is how we came back to the Red House, because right. it was painted red again. Um, but this particular site, uh, we discovered in 2013 when they were doing a lot of the foundation work and r investigative work, and they discovered remains. And after a lot of research, we've realized that that site was a site of a, of a native peoples uh, that so were living remains. in that area. Human remains, yes. And once the work was done, we discovered that probably 1,200 years ago, there was a settlement there. Wow. So it goes back real far. So this particular building, though, um, had some problems, um, some major problems. You know, you remember the 1990 and so on. Right. And, um, and it never really got repaired fully. And there were all kinds of decisions as to whether they should do it and so on. But this is really the probably the most important iconic structure in Trinidad and Tobago. In fact, it's also on the memories of the world. So it's a big deal. So I'm, that's why I'm so pleased that finally yes. it's back. After yeah. how many years of reservation? Something well, like? um, the actual renovation, and, and they keep talking about when. It, um, the, the, um, the, those troubles were in 1990. And right. since 1990, there were little bits and pieces of renovation, trying to fix bits and pieces. So it's been going along, limping along since then. And there were many different stages. Um, this particular one started uh, almost 20 years ago now. Right. And there were, it just kept stopping and starting because it's a big, big job. And, and you know, I have to be, be able to afford it. But I think what m is more important is that here we were going to put a heritage building, a historic building, we want to make it look the same. Right. Um, but we had to make it modern, you know. And I'm saying we because I'm, I'm, Attaching myself vicariously because right. I didn't do very much. I just <laughs> stayed back and it rejoiced. Right. <laughs> but basically, this building looks very similar. There was a lot of 
of, of attention to really making it look like the original historic building. But that is only on the outside, the facade, because it's now a completely modern building. It's earthquake resistant up to, well, as far as we can as far as tell, we can, right? Yeah. Um, it now has a full basement um, where all, it's almost all pipes and, and, and um, chill water systems and all. Not really, that's across the other side. But all kinds of AC and power equipment and so yeah, on. To make basement. it comfortable for this time. Yes, because now. it's now central air. Right. It has security systems. It's, of course, full electrical, full plumbing. Um, it's now handicapped. Um, it's for handicapped. Um, so persons, accessible as well. Accessible, right. yes. And so there are elevators, there are ramps, there are these really cool stair lifts, all kinds wow. of things going on as well. So you got the grand tour already? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we, we got the sneak peek first, and yes. now we got the grand tour. And, oh, um, that's great. I'm still learning. I'm still looking at the building. I'm still finding out bits and pieces about it. Um, you know, there is a cafeteria now. There is a bookshop. There are, of course, the, the offices for the office of the... Uh, the um, opposition, as well as the leader of, of business, right. um, the speaker's um, chambers, the um, president of the Senate's chambers. Um, there are all kinds of, of extra pieces. Right. But what is also very important is that we now have a companion building, which used to be the Attorney General's building across the road. And there's a really interesting little bridge link over the road. Oh, I see. And that actually is for both people as well as the air conditioning comes across there, a lot of the power, because right. the big chill water system is in the companion building. And just before so. we, we um, close off, just mm -hmm. one question. Why, is it, why, do you, why would you say it's important to preserve these heritage sites? Well, as I say, it's, it, it represents us. It represents who we can be. Um, in those days, people were grand. It, it was, it's not a copy of anybody else's building. Right. It's, it's for us. Um, particularly the, the um, type of materials that were used at the time, we can celebrate how people did the, the buildings, not just this one, but all of them. Um, and, and I think when we go into those buildings, I, I, you can't help but be proud of who we are. Definitely, and that's a perfect way to end this. I want to thank you so much. Uh, Miss Margaret McDowell yes. for uh, joining us this morning. You are chairman of the National Trust of Trinidad yes. and Tobago telling yes. us all the wonderful information on mm -hmm. the Red House, the historic heritage site that is now reopened and yes. uh, you know I think I'm as excited as you are now <laughs> okay. and hopefully I could get myself Come a grand going. tour. Yes, yes <laughs> and also you, of course the two public galleries will be open while the sittings are going on so you Definitely. can go in anytime. Definitely. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you.